Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity video. In this one I'm going to be doing an update as I do usually each week. Uh, this one I'm going to be showing the progress that I've made over the last week. Uh, I've been making a lot of progress, going over a lot of old code, redoing things, and let's get into it. So, same, new game, whatever, yeah. So this week, what I've been doing, ignore the hat, uh, I'll explain that in a second. So, um, what I've been doing is I've been redoing the inventory system and I've still got plenty to do. So next video you'll see hopefully the finished version one of it. Uh, but what I've done is the old inventory used to be a like, let me just get my cursor. So like there used to be a little inventory there. Now the reason I didn't press B for bags to bring it up is because I'm actually going to be changing the inventory system instead of having the little panel at the bottom right to be using the whole screen. The point being we have the inventory here, then if I have an item, so the health potion, if I mouse over it, or maybe if I click on it, it'll come up here saying like, um, it'll have a picture of the icon, its name, um, like as in the, the model of the, so this is the, obviously the UI icon, I'll have a model thing here. Then we'll have, um, maybe the model will be rotating or something. I'll use like a camera in the scene to render to a texture here. Um, then you have the, the item name, price, all the information about it, then maybe a description here. Um, I'll add another one of these panels down here uh, for resistances because what I'm going to do over here is have the armor section. Now currently the hat is just plonked on top but it's going to be equipable, a, an equipable item. Now because we don't have the character model like a proper humanoid yet, I went for a hat first just because it's the easiest to stick on a head, you don't have to have it properly fitting around the body. Um, this is just temporary to make it look stupid because you know why not. Um, it's quite literally just a really quickly modeled thing in Blender with um, a texture stuck on top and I'm actually, the, the there's a problem with the texture, with the uh, model. If you look right at the top point you might see some glitchy texture. I think it's because uh, there's like four vertices, well, actually no there's more than four vertices at the top. There's one vertice for every point on the bottom of it because it's just a cylinder that's been extruded and shrunk. So I should probably just round that off with one, um, one vertice at the top but anyway that doesn't matter. The point being I've got a camera following the player around that sticks perfectly to where the, cam uh, the player is. Um, so let me just make sure I did, yeah. So you can't move on your inventory because it's almost like a pause, but if you take damage when you're in the inventory, it'll take you out of the inventory. Um, the one problem I need to fix, which obviously I'm open for suggestions, is how to make it so that a player can put stuff on that hotbar from in here. Um, I could just kind of squeeze that up and then, you know, have the hotbar visible, but I don't want, like, it to have bits of the ground sticking out. So I was thinking of maybe making it so the um, hotbar like goes here but the health bar and mana bar don't there's, there's different ways i don't know i want some way to easily equip to the hot bar while not having to like click on here and put go to hot but like have an option to put it on the hot bar and then go back and change it you know i want to be able to um easily change stuff around the hot bar so in terms of ui design i'm open for suggestions of what people think is a good idea um but i definitely want to go for the full screen design or at least i could even just shrink this and have it be um close to full screen but not actually full screen um, that's like the easier solution, so have it like this panel, but maybe a bit bigger. Um, so yeah, that's one thing, the inventory system. Obviously it still works, same, you know, picking up items, moving it around. But I got rid of the uh, ammunition panel for the bow. Now there's no attacking at the moment. Instead of having it be, you know, weapons on your hotbar, I've changed it to be more like uh, how WoW works. So you'll have your character bit here, so it'll have like head, chest, legs, feet, main hand, off hand. And you would equip it here, so sword into the main hand. Or if you right click to here, it would equip it. So I'm going to add that system. Uh, well, that's actually quite interesting. I've got a bug at the moment, which I need to fix. Where if I right click on an item in the inventory, it kind of locks it out. I can't use it anymore. I think what it's doing is it's like using the item, but it's not getting rid of it. But yeah, I'll fix that problem uh, soon. So, and obviously it's it fixes it if I actually just swap an item with that slot, which is interesting. But um yeah, I'll have a look into that after this. This here of the uh, player is like a live camera in the scene rendering. It just only renders the player and then anything else it just doesn't render. So it's like a perfect thing in the player. If I had stuff in the player's hands or if the player was like animated in an idle stance, that would be the idle stance. So that's actually going to look a lot better when we get the player properly. And as I said, this is for the item description stuff. Um, then here's for equipping stuff. And because the game's going off like a resistance system with like resistance to different elements so you'd have like a physical resistance then a fire water whatever um like everything's going to be some kind of element um you'll have resistances here depending on your armor so as you equip and dequip armor it'll say like total fire resistance magic uh arcane resistance and so on that'll all be here to show you um and then 
uh, like on enemies' health bars at the top, I'm gonna have something st showing like status effects or like um, here as well. I'll have like a status effect thing because like if you're slowed or if you're snared or if you're this that the other if you're burning whatever. Because I need to remake the status effect system anyway. Uh, at the moment it's not the best. It's just kind of uh, temporary. But anyway, so I've remade the casting system for spells. So instead of it being you press one to go into slot one and then click to fire, you actually now press one and it casts on one. So it's just like a you know a typical game where like you, so I'm looking in this direction, press one, and then it channels and then casts. The channel duration is basically just how long the casting animation is going to take when I actually have casting animations. Uh, I've done it for all of them, and I can tweak each one's like how long it takes um, for each spell. And I've made it to Rock Hills like really quick to cast and so on. Um, obviously, I sort of cast it on the enemies and stuff and whatever. Um, yeah, Gust knocks them back. Makes a quite a big knockback of the uh, Rock Shards, but you get the idea. Um, Arcane I already had, which is the missiles. Now I've made it so there's two kinds of channeling. So there's the one where the bar fills up and then the projectile gets fired like this. Or for arcane missiles, for example, I'll have fire it over here. How it works is it fires while it's channeling, and then obviously when the channel's finished, it's done. So it fills up as we're firing. And then um the cooldown starts at the start anyway, for all the spells. The cooldown starts. So the the cooldown doesn't like care about the um casting time. So I don't have to like take that into consideration when doing cooldowns. The cooldowns are still the proper cooldowns. Um, and obviously the cooldowns are never going to be shorter than the actual cast time. They're always going to be longer by at least, well, either the same or longer. Um, but yeah, the RK missiles, obviously I can fire and then home in like that. It still works like normal. Um, and corruption, last time I had this as well. So you uh, look at something, an enemy, you click and it fires off a projectile at home's in and then applies the really OP damage over time that I need to know. I mean, balance doesn't matter yet. And then we've added light now. Now for the visuals, I've just taken the slow one, the ice shard, and just given it... Um, I've forgotten what key this is. Uh, I need. I should probably put a little number saying what keys they are. Um, but yeah, it fires off a um, skill shot. That's like the same thing as the ice blast, but it... Um, snares instead so when I add like crowd control that's a snare instead and obviously if you don't know what a snare is it's the same as like a root it's where the enemies can still attack uh, but they can't move basically and stuns obviously you can't move and you can't attack either and yeah I'm gonna add um, you know stat changes with these items obviously maybe they can add certain items might increase your um, damage in certain elements and so on because like I have the actual points in a tree but then I could always have a plus value for like your gear like what how much it increases each thing so it's going to be quite a dynamic system. It's going to be pretty good. We're going to have loads of items and everything. Um, obviously, with everything that I show in here, I want people to give their suggestions on what to do, what to improve, you know, just ideas for spells and items and quests. and Maybe not quests, but you, you know what I'm saying. Uh, and just general how to make systems because um, everything's going well so far. I just need to keep keep adding stuff. As you see, every video I add more stuff. Um, you know, save game. Yeah, it still works. Can speak to Bob, can speak to Bill. I need to add stuff on them, but you know, it's all a work in progress. My priority right now is to do this. And what I'm going to make is um, with weapons, right? So you equip your sword, it might be a one handed sword. You have it in your main hand. Then if you have a one handed thing in your main hand, you can have a one handed thing in your off hand, whether it's a uh, shield. Well, no. So for example, a sword will be one handed, and with swords single handed, you can have a shield in the off hand. Then daggers will be two-handed, but obviously there'll be two daggers. So if you put that in the first slot, it will um, have a dagger in both hands and they go together. I'm not going to have dual wielding different weapons just because that's, I think that's a bit too complicated to do with animations. Maybe I'll consider it, but probably not. Um, obviously spells just, when you cast them, you cast them. So if you have a sword in your hand and you cast a spell, it might quickly sheath it or something. However games normally do it. Or, uh, so if you, use, if you use like number keys to cast spells, and I use left click and right click to like uh, attack and shield. So if I tap left, I do swords. And if I hold right, it holds a shield up maybe. And then the shield has like a um, kind of kind of like a, a health, a temporary health bar. Like the shield doesn't get destroyed when the health bar dies, but like it has to go into like almost like a cooldown where you can't hold the shield up and defend with it. Um, so I'll add that system. The point being, uh, depending on what you've got, you do different attacks. And if you've got a bow equipped, obviously, so bows are two handed. So you put that in your main hand. If you had like two one-handed, it would unequip them and so on. 
Um, for the bow, it'll be left click to pull back, right click to zoom in, and obviously left click to fire as well. So right click will just be like a zoom, which will maybe depend on the bow stats, for example. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool as well. There's so many systems and things I want to add uh, to the game, but it's, it's just, you know, a matter of time and uh, I, good ideas. Good ideas are always nice to have. Um, was there something else I was going to say about the attacking system? Oh yeah, so like... Um, when you're running around, you can be unsheathed if you're... So if I press a spell, it'll sheath the weapons and then do the spell. Whereas if I am doing spells and I want to pull out a weapon, um, when I do my first click to attack, it checks, am I sheathed or unsheathed? If I'm unsheathed, then it'll do the attack because the weapons are ready. But if the weapons are sheathed, then it'll unsheath them. So it's like the whole, uh, if I've got my bags open and, and I press escape to go to the menu, it closes the bags first, and then it goes to the menu. Though if I'm here and I press it once, it'll go straight to the menu. It makes sure all of the panels are closed before going to the menu. Um, obviously, uh, I need to add some way of showing like spell stats and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about doing that. Like, I want to have like little preview uh, things of the spells. I used to have a little panel that opened up on here, but it's really messy. I feel like there's a much better way I can do it. Like, for example, I can just have this thing here be like a uh, kind of in the middle of the combat, you know, switching out spells, like getting rid of old getting rid of the spells you don't want and putting on the new ones and whatever. Then I might have an actual um, menu thing for looking through spells, looking at how much damage they do and all the stats and everything. That'll be on a separate panel. So this is like the kind of quick one to manage what you've got, you know, unlock some new things, put some points in. But if you actually want detailed descriptions on everything, you can look it up. I'm going to change the menu, I plan. So rather than just a stupid black, like, you know, here's your menu, boring. I'm going to have it be, uh, you press escape and it kind of like um, pauses the game uh, in terms of like the time it freezes time and then um, it goes to like a semi-transparent kind of panel and then it'll be like a circle so uh, you'll have a circle here and then it'll say like settings uh, inventory whatever so you can go to anything from that menu uh, or you can just use the hotkeys but uh, for example this um, spell thing will be on there and it'll just uh, open different panels I, I see, I'm not a fan of having like the full screen panels uh, I like having like this kind of panel but I feel like um, for some things you want to use more space, but we'll see, I'll, I'll think of different ways to do it. But obviously I'm always up for design ideas and people giving their own input. Um, obviously if you haven't already joined the server because you know it's a good place where people showcase what they're making and also give uh, ideas to each other and help each other. Um, so yeah, this video, there's not much more else to say. Um, I think I've covered everything since last video. Um, there might be a little bit more, but it's just all been refactoring old code, moving things around, making it better, um, fixing things. Obviously, like if I try and put a spell in my inventory, well, I can't do it right now anyway. So I guess that's one way to avoid the problem. But I will be changing the hotbar. And yeah, the, the only thing, the main thing I want from people this video, if they are wanting to comment, is their method for you know how to go about doing the um, having the hotbar and the inventory because it used to just be a little panel you could easily drag between them but I feel like what I'll do is I'll shrink this um, or I could even make this a separate screen but I want to easily be able to have the inventory and the hotbar and the character thing at once so I could just shrink this panel I feel like that's what I'll go with so that's that's fine that's unless someone comes with a better idea and also yes uh, not not really spell ideas because I've already got most spells planned out. But if anyone have, has any really cool ideas for like the rock fragments, I've already had plenty of ideas, and I already know some of what I'm going to do. Like for example, forming them into like a shield or a rock golem, or exploding them and stuff like that. Um, I might do that really soon, just because it's not going to be too hard to implement, and it'll be really cool to show off. So I might do that soon to keep you guys excited. Uh, obviously, work on the NPCs, work on the equipping armor. Uh, for the time being, the armor will just uh, be equipped. Well, my stage one is equip the armor into there and make it so the slot-specific armor, like so helmet can only go in helmet and so on. Then make it so I can click on here to equip it. Make it so when I click on stuff here, it appears here. Just keep adding more bits and then calculating resistances here. And then once all the information on this panel is done, also, yeah, the assets, like the <clears throat> border and background color, that's just reused, as you can tell. I just reused the fire one and added some the borders from the... Uh, <coughs> old selected icon on the hotbar is what I'm using for this this outline thing. So, so it's all just been reused temporarily, don't don't worry, it's not going to look like that fight, uh, uh, in the end. Uh, and then eventually when I've got the NPCs working I need to add a vendor system and quests and then when I've got quests I'll need to add a like a quest log thing here showing what you've got current, um, maybe a thing on the map pointing in the direction. So this, there is plenty to do, very very 
like there's there's plenty to do but i hope uh the few of you maybe the few of you that are watching this um are willing to support whether that's uh through just watching the video or leaving a like subscribing helping on patreon anyway you can possible that would mean a lot uh, as i continue with the game's development um it's currently the 5th of november and hopefully by the time i reach christmas holidays so that's in a month and like two or three weeks i'll be doing a like play test so if anyone's in my server at that point i will you know give you access to the game in its current state at that point in a month and a bit time so i'll make the uh, i'll make the scene into more of a test thing where you can go around i might make some simple enemies by that point um just to test like actually attacking things on what you think's balanced damage you know unlocking so i was just testing things out trying to break it see if you can find any bugs that i can't find on my own so it's just going to be a good um a good thing and a lot of people have already asked me they want to test the game like they've told me that they want to test the game anyway so i thought why not I i'm not gonna do it in its current state i want to make a bit more progress but um yeah uh, the support already has been pretty good you know quite a lot of people have been commenting saying how good it looks well it doesn't look like great but you know i mean how good uh, it could look and the potential and also just some of the cool things like the rock the rock shatter is probably one of my favorite things already um but yeah i don't know what i'll say i'm just dragging this on to be honest um so yeah i guess i'll end it there so obviously if you haven't already like subscribe comment join the discord pay up health on patreon the usual stuff i, I say uh but apart from that thanks for watching and goodbye